Good good morning. Good morning. I'm at a highball. There's no more highball left. I don't know what we're gonna do about this. We got another highball. That's a lot. We could do it though. We could do it. We can make it happen. Um Alright, it's been a while since I've streamed. Uh Comic Con was uh a lot. It's just a lot. You know. Everything's a lot, man. I'm a 33-year-old man. You know, everything's just a lot of effort now. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. Um, no, I don't know. You do harder things as you get older. It's like difficult to uh, to do things. So we launched the, uh, the Comma 3X, uh, our most refined hardware yet. Um, good morning, good morning. Are we on sub-only chat? We can make it not sub-only for the start. And then we can put sub-only back on. Don't let Sam Altman scan your eyeballs. Uh, if you didn't watch my Comic Con presentation, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I've rewatched it a few times. Um, yeah, I know I haven't been on the stream for a while. I got this rack of tiny boxes. That's a tiny box over there, and that's the tiny box we're SSHing into. The other tiny boxes in my living room. Um, I didn't prep anything for this stream. I don't even know what works. It's it's been a while since uh, I've looked at this. Dealing with fucking Qualcomm, man. You know, this uses a Qualcomm chip. I so much regret uh, using Qualcomm. Don't, like, don't use Qualcomm. Don't, but whatever you do, you will regret it. They hate you, okay? Qualcomm hates you. If, if you if you wanna buy a chip, they, they hate you, okay? Like, that's the only way to describe it, right? I, I've never seen, like, the, the, the salespeople have gotten fat selling chips to 10 people uh, and you want to buy chips from them? It's it's. I think it's actually easier to pull teeth. I think if I ought, like like if I wanted to pull teeth from homeless people, that would be easier than buying chips from fucking Qualcomm. So this is my Qualcomm rant, right? Hey, guess who my friends are now? We're friends with AMD now. We're friends with AMD. You know, you know the the Lisa Sue responded. Um, we're friends with AMD now. Uh. They, they got me a, maybe not a great deal, but a decent deal on these GPUs. You know, I didn't get them like, I didn't get them at cost. They're still making a profit, but I got a deal that was appropriate. So I bought 60 of them. Um, yeah, these guys. Uh, look, we got, a, we got a Tom's Hardware article. Um, all I'm saying is, and also another thing that we'll take a look at from AMD, you know, you guys are like, George just sits and complains and he's a clown and gets nothing done. Um, I mean, look at their uptake, right? Look, look, look at, look at, look at the uptick on their, on their GitHub activity. Right? It's pretty serious. Uh, they've started, so for RockM, uh, they've started pushing a lot more uh, a lot more things uh, to the repo. I don't think they're pushing everything to every repo yet, but again, I mean, they're a big company and it takes a long time to do things and I can respect that. Uh, but you know, just what I need to see is like, look, we care and we are going to make this better. Like things at AMD are not okay. Step one, you got to admit that. And then step two is, but we're going to make things better. And that's, that is most of what I ask, for, right? Um, I tweeted about Qualcomm and I'm just like, I just, you know, I can literally, if I really wanted to, I could get billionaires and, you know, to do, to do activist investments into Qualcomm. Like, it's not that hard to like, but then I'm like, is this really what I want to do for the next year? Like, I don't give a shit, man. Like, let Qualcomm fucking die, you know? Like AMD, look, I complained about AMD in hopes that, this one will be called Qualcomm rant. I complained about AMD in hopes that they would actually turn things around. And I think they're going to, which is awesome. Uh, I complain about Qualcomm in the sense of like, you know, it's like gallows humor, man. Don't ever fucking use Qualcomm. Like, it's gonna suck. But I really think for the next Comma device, we're going to end up switching to this chip. It's marginally better than, than an 850, 845. But, you know, the company is a joy to work with. The company is like, oh, how many chips do you want to buy? Okay, we can get them to you this date. You send us the money, we send you chips. Thank you. Qualcomm, you send us the money. Oh, we, by the way, we sent, we sent Qualcomm over half a million dollars for chips. 
Oh, oh, there's just there's just one more legal document you're gonna have to sign. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna take your money and we're not gonna give you the chips. You gotta sign the legal document or you don't get any chips. Okay, I'm not signing the document. Give me my money back. Yeah, about that. You have to sign the legal document. Yeah, yeah. I know we didn't tell you because if we told you, you probably wouldn't have bought the chips, but we have your money now and uh, fuck you. And uh, yeah, yeah, fuck you, yeah, yeah. You know, I look in the nicest way possible, but fuck you. Uh, and you gonna sign that document or we're not gonna send you chips, man. And yeah, you know our supplier, Arrow? Yeah, fuck them too, man. Fuck everyone, we're Qualcomm. And look, man, you wanna have that attitude? That's cool. And look, the feeling's mutual. You hate me, I hate you, right? It's all good. But uh, you know. You, you ask why in five years, why everyone's using IMX8s, this rock chip chip. Um, you ask why people are doing it, and it's because you are the worst company in the world to deal with. Look, my complaint about AMD was about their software not being good, right? And the thing about fixing the software is there's very few software engineers who like want to make your life harder, right? There's very few software engineers who are like, we want this software to suck. There's lazy software engineers. And there's not good software engineers, definitely. Um, but salespeople, there are salespeople who are like, we want your life to be bad. You don't understand. We want your life to suck. And you're like, well, how is this possible, right? And like, you know, it's just, it's just like they, 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 they get off on this kind of shit, man. It's just the biggest, the, the, the sales guy straight up lied to me. He just straight up lied to me. And like, I have documentation. I'm like, you lied to me. Look, I'm sending you the email chain. This is a bold-faced lie. And you know, do you admit to the lie? No. Do you do you do you try to negate what I said? No. You just like, yeah. Hello, I'm a liar and an asshole. Are you still gonna deal with me? And the answer is no. The answer is fuck Qualcomm, man. If you if you out there are working on a company, do not work with Qualcomm. Uh Tried emailing the CEO, no reply. Uh, you know, you like get through to somebody, but they just, they just, they want to waste your time, man. They, they just, it's their, they're, they're like, do not, it, it's caused me two years of stress, right? Like it's caused me ever since we've been shipping Comma 3s. We now ship Comma 3Xs. It uses the same Qualcomm 845 chip. This has caused me two years of stress. Whatever you do, if you are building a product, do not put Qualcomm in it. You will regret it. You will, you will regret, I, I so much regret, like we should have delayed the comma three a year and, and use this rock chip chip, right? Um, yeah, do not use Qualcomm. Um, AMD does make an SOC, uh, sort of. They don't really make an SOC. So you look at the laptop chips, the laptop chips are great, but they don't have camera inputs and you're like, okay, I'm gonna have to put an FPGA on here. Uh, Amberella guy is super nice. I talked to the Amberella guy. Their chips are just either underpowered or too expensive. MediaTek won't sell me chips, but at least they're not dicks about it. You know, at least the MediaTek, the MediaTek guy was apologetic. He's like, look, man, like this is our sales process. It was decided by upper management. Like he's just honest with me. You know what I mean? And like, I can be mad they don't sell me chips, but I don't hate the company, right? Like that's just their policy. Qualcomm, we'll sell you chips. Three months later. Oh, you want to buy chips? What the fuck do you think we've been talking about for the last three months? Yeah, yeah, there are no other cable companies. Yeah, yeah. Um, so don't, like, if you're making a product, do not use Qualcomm. I know they're good. I know they're fast. You're tempted. You're like, oh, I can buy this SOM. And yeah, if you only plan to do a run of a couple thousand, buy the SOM. Look, Thundercom, Thundercom's not a bad company to deal with. I mean, we've had some issues with them, but but overall, like the issues are, the, the like the issues I faced with Thundercom, they're at least honest, right? There, there's, you know, there's there's a few issues, um, but like, again, they're, they're like, you see why they're acting the way they're acting. It's not, they're not doing it because they're, they're, they're assholes. They're doing it because, well, you know, they have a business too, right? And you gotta respect that, right? You gotta respect like someone else has a business and they're incentivized, just like you're incentivized to make your business great. They're incentivized to make their business great. Um, and that's fine, that's fine, right? Like, you know, just like they're incentivized avoiding certain things, we're incentivized to avoid certain things, it's fine. 
uh, Qualcomm that here's what needs to happen. You want to fix Qualcomm? Okay, fixing AMD really is going to just take a couple meetings from CEO and upper management saying, look, guys, our driver sucks. Let's focus on making our driver good. There's a huge amount of money here, right? Um, and also with software, I can do the software externally, right? Like AMD, this is the beauty of open source, right? Like AMD's commitment to open source means that we externally can improve their software, right? And it just makes me feel so much better about like, again, I dropped 60K on AMD GPUs, right? Um, it makes me feel so much. So working with Thundercom is fine. Uh, if you're looking to make a couple thousand of something, like these SOMs are okay. But if you plan to go above that and try to do a chip level design, you will never be able to buy chips on reasonable terms from Qualcomm. Uh, they will fuck you at every turn and they will cause you years of stress. It's just so much not worth it. Uh, have I unboxed the GPUs? Some of them. Some of them are in that box over there. Um, so, uh, and get a get a Comet 3X while you can, because uh, you know, <laughs> who knows, man? Who knows how many there's gonna be? Um, they're they're the yeah they're they're just it's so. CEO doesn't reply to me. Okay, don't reply to me, man. Like, you can tell. You know what? You can tell if a company is alive or not based on whether the CEO replies to me or not, right? Right? If you think, look, I can hold my own, I'll reply to this guy, whatever, man. Like, you know, Elon's ultimate of like, yeah, I can hold my own, whatever, man. I'll deal with George Hotz, no problem, right? Like, like, you know, his power level is so much above mine and you just know it, right? And he just, you know, Elon's just like, look, I know I'm not a fraud, man. Like, whatever, man, what's George Hotz gonna do, you know? And, uh, you know, that's, that's why Elon's cool, man. And that's why he makes successful companies, right? Like, as bad as the X rebrand is and stuff, like, I still believe in Twitter, man. Because <laughs> you just... And that's what it is about that guy, right? It's not even about the business decision. It's that the man is just alive, you know? I'm going to put a large blinking X on top of the thing to fuck with the city of San Francisco. Like, that shit's hilarious. Um... Look, I, whatever you want to say about the X rebrand, man. Who knows why Elon does things, but it doesn't matter, right? It really doesn't matter. Like something, ha he's like something has to change, and like I respect that. Um, look, and then there's companies like Nvidia and and, and AMD, and you know what? I, I regret saying fuck you to Nvidia because I don't have strong enough words for how I feel about Qualcomm. <laughs> Nvidia, Nvidia told us they were going to sell us chips in 2016. They changed their mind in 2018. They changed their mind back in 2020. Uh, but the chips were too expensive at that point. Um, but again, you know what I mean? Like Nvidia, Nvidia's stock price. I'll tell you why Nvidia did it, right? Like it's it's easy to talk about, right? Like okay, let's look at Nvidia stock. Why is Google? Like, look when you have it when you have a stock that looks like this, like. Okay, respect. Like, you just can't, like, they're like, look, we're doing something right, man. Why should we listen to you, right? <sighs> right? Here's Qualcomm over the last year. Shit, maybe you should listen to me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know a company's really killing it when their stock looks like this. That's not that great over the last year, but, you know, it's pretty good. And I should buy AMD. It's actually... I can't get over their crazy high P.E. ratio. Yeah, I see. That's wild. No, I, I mean, I should buy AMD stock. I really should. I should have held my meta stock. Why did I not hold my meta stock? I regret it so much. You know, I sold here. Ah, 3X. Oh, well. Hey, 3X, bro. 3X. Um, Tesla's a good buy too. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I mean, they were so overvalued. Like, Elon even tweeted it. Maybe they're not. I don't know. Um, Meta's a sinking ship, bro. Meta is not a sinking ship. Mr. Zuckerberg is turning it around, okay? I just didn't have faith. I lost faith. I lost faith and oh, I lost faith and it cost me. I lost faith and it cost me. I lost faith in you, Mr. Zuckerberg. My faith has fully been restored. I'm sorry for ever doubting. 
I'm sorry for ever doubting. I listened to your first Lex Friedman and I was like, shit, I gotta buy this company. And then it went like this. Uh, I'm sorry for ever doubting, Mr. Zuckerberg. Um, you and Jan LeCun are goats. Uh, that's that's just like like you pushing this open source AI, like, you know, it's just it's just respect, man. Respect. And who knows is like, you know, we're gonna go to the AI meeting with the government, man. We're gonna suck Joe Biden's dick. Uh, and Meta's like, yeah, yeah, open source, man, because we like the people. And the people know, right? The people know. Um, Meta does not have a single good product. They have Llama 2, and that's what this stream's about today. Am I ready for the debate? So I'm debating Connor Leahy tomorrow, right? Um, I've watched his other debates, and I think his opponents were absolutely pathetic. Uh, and this is, this is my trash talking before the debate. Um, you know... I think some of the people he debated, it's clear that he has a higher IQ than them. Uh, it's clear that he can, you know, just kind of like, like run language around them and stuff. And like, bro, bro, I don't know, man. Actually, he has a lot more debate experience than me, so I might lose. I might lose. He has a lot more debate experience than me, but, you know. Um, yeah, we got it. We got it. Oh, I bought a cover for this chair. Well, you think I bought it. Alex bought it for me. So now I, have a, now I have a black cover for this chair, but it slides a little forward, which isn't too bad. Uh, yeah, but if you want to be lied to, gaslit, jerked around, one more thing, Qualcomm's a great company to work with. Um, if you are like a normal person and like everybody else, whatever you do, even if it costs you more money, even if it costs you more time, even if it costs you more hassle, even if it's going to hurt the performance of your product a little bit, do not use Qualcomm. You will regret it. I regret it. Don't be me. Don't use Qualcomm. Why the hell did I put Qualcomm chips in my shit? Right? Just, just, they're, they hate you. They hate you. Trust me, they hate you. And it's not, it's not comma, by the way. It's not comma. This has nothing to do with comma. This has nothing to do with me. <laughs> I hear this from every single person who I talk to who's made a similar product. Some of them were smart enough to not use Qualcomm. Some of them were smart enough to see the writing on the wall. Like, I was trying to rent a condo two weeks ago. And like, you know, I'm talking to this woman and she seems okay to me. And Alex is like, she's not okay, man. And you know what? You see, like, I don't have, maybe I don't have a good feeling for that, right? Like, I just trust people. I just, I just, I can't believe, I can't believe there's people in the world who are just so, who are just complete, like, like, not even zero sum assholes. They're just like, fuck you, man. I've had six bankruptcies in my life and fuck you. Um, yeah. So, uh, media tech's not exactly a pleasure to work with. I mean, again, the alternative is rock chip. I think this chip's gonna kill it. I think this chip, I, you know, I'm, I'm still waiting on a quote for a lot of them. I, I, got, a, I got a quote for a thousand pieces, but I right, give me a quote for 10,000, 100,000 pieces. If the quote's good, as much as it's gonna suck, uh, we, might, we might switch. Um, yeah, Orange Pi 5. I mean, they're, they're, they're 100 bucks for the whole dev kit. And you can buy someone alley for, uh, for like 75. Like, so you know the chip can't be too expensive, um, said Exynos. I mean, the problem with, like, Exynos and high silicon is basically it's the Chinese and Korean government. So, like, you know, you want to work out a government? Um, we don't have Llama 70V running on a tiny box yet. Oh, that's a banned term. That's a banned term. I'm not talking about that. Um, this chip's already doing great. Yeah, yeah, I think, look, like... Do you want to, I mean, it's more powerful than an 845. It is more powerful than an 845. It's not generations more powerful, which is upsetting. Like if I could buy rock chips, look, I mean, the Comma 3X is the Qualcomm chip. Um, I will get the Qualcomm chips. There's a lot of ways to get them. Uh, should I, should I build a factory in China that takes phones apart and pulls the chips out of them and reballs them? I will do this. I will do this. Uh, yeah. All right, all right. Are we through rage today? Uh, how are the specs on Rock Chip? They're, they're okay. They're, they're they're better than the eight forty five, but only a little bit. Um, here are the results. Uh, yeah, they're. I don't know what this is being compared to. You have a comparison to an 845? 
their gem score is a little better than an 845. You can put DDR5 memory on there if you want to. Uh, the Comet 3X is really good though. Like, I'm sorry, you don't have to deal with Qualcomm, okay? You don't ever have to think about Qualcomm. The chip does work. Oh, also, also, another fuck you from Qualcomm. You buy the chip. Yeah, the hypervisor. Yeah, that's Qualcomm's. Yeah, you can't uh, you can't change that. There's two signing keys. There's your signing key, and then there's Qualcomm signing key. And of course, Qualcomm signing key is burned into the chip when you buy it. And the first step in the boot chain. It's not a ROM. It's not a ROM. I understand why a ROM's burned into the chip, but you have to put the Qualcomm spyware in there. Yeah, that's what this company thinks of you. Doesn't matter if you buy the chip. No, no, you run the Qualcomm hypervisor. That's right. That's right. Um, have I watched his other debates? Yes, I've watched his other debates. Uh, don't worry, I'm I'm pre I'm I'm prepared for uh, I'm prepared for a hundred John von Neumanns to come at me, man. I'm prepared. Don't worry. Um. So they sell a license to the chip. Oh, they'd love, I mean, you can't, that's not legal, but they would love to sell you a license to the chip. Well, I'm sorry, we're revoking your license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Kama has no spyware? Yeah, you can read our shit, bro. Uh, but yeah, just, just please, please, if you're building something right now, if you're if you're at a company right now, and I really think this reaches the right people, if you were at a company right now, um, and you are using Qualcomm or Thundercom or Inforce or one of these companies that builds a SOM around Qualcomm, if your plan is only ever to ship a couple thousand devices, then it's fine. But if your plan is to ship, you know, fifty thousand, a hundred thousand, do not use Qualcomm. You will regret it. You will. Uh yeah, you, you will, you will, re I regret it. I deeply regret it. Uh, is it hard to shift to MediaTek chips? They won't sell you the good ones. They'll only sell you Genios and they're crappy. No, I mean, this is the chip. Like you have to switch to this chip. Switch to this chip. If you're, if you're at a company right now and you're using a Qualcomm chip, switch to this chip. Or if Amborella works for you, you can also use Amborella. I mean, again, I haven't used Amborella, but I've heard good things. I mean, I've heard that like they work, you know? Um, 2001 Eliza versus 2023 Eliza. Let's go. Let's go. Keeping it OG. Um, what about making your own chips? Well, this is one of the goals of the Tiny Corp. Um, ugh, it's a long road. Uh, you know, it's a long road. So we'll have to switch Tiny Grout over to this. You know what? If someone from Rock Chip's watching, Rock Chip, are you coming out with a better chip this year? I'd love to use it. I'll, 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 I'll pay a bit more. I'll be an early customer. We do a great job supporting your software. We get stock you want to to run on there. Um, I like just come out with like a five or four, na five, five, four or five nanometer chip. Uh, if you come out with a four or five nanometer chip, that's like 4x the performance, or even 2x the performance of this one. Uh, a ton of companies will use this chip over the next five years. Like, I, I, you know, we're the bellwether, man. Like for the Qualcomm stuff, we're the bellwether. We, we, it, it's very clear that we are one of the first companies to try to ship Qualcomm in like a robotics IoT application. Uh, do not use them. You will regret it. Don't do it, Rock Chip? What do you mean? I just want to buy your chips, man. Uh, yeah, so initial capital investment is very high. Testing is very high. It's a very complex thing to build. Um, Rock Chip won't listen to my suggestions? It, it, what? It's not like I can... Like, they're either building a new chip or they aren't, right? They might get me... They might get me access and tell me about their roadmap a few months early. I'm not going to be able to convince them... I mean, look, I'm looking to buy 100,000 chips, basically. Like, commas at 100,000 scale. Um, it's, it's clear, it's clear, uh, it's clear Qualcomm's not it. We tried to buy chips from them. I put in a 10K test order 
and it was an absolute nightmare. I was lied to by the salesman. Uh, it took a month and then we sent them the money and they're like, yeah, you're going to have to sign this legal document. Oh, what the legal document basically says is I'm not, you know, I, I'm not going to get into it. I, I don't know. I don't know what sketchy NDAs that Qualcomm thinks they have on me, but like, uh, yeah. Yeah, they, they are not a company you want to work with. Run as far away as possible. Did I forget to bribe the sales guy? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I had to hire a lobbyist. I, I'm starting to think that's what you actually have to do. If you seriously want to work with Qualcomm, what lobbyist did you hire? You know? Um, who's currently buying them? Okay. So basically, the way that Qualcomm works is they sell to like eight Android phone manufacturers. And they sell such large volumes to these phone manufacturers that like, again, the phone manufacturers have set up a pipeline and they've been buying the chips for 10 years. So Qualcomm coasts on this business, but yeah, we know where the high-end Android market's going, right? Um, so who's currently buying them? Not companies like Kama. Kama's ahead of everybody. Like, I mean, just look at the, I, I can show you the Thundercom SOM we're shipping. Like, I know how many of them are sold. We're your, not the majority, but I think we're probably the largest customer. Uh, and yeah. Uh, Google is packaging RMIP with some ICs on top. I know. Well, top end Qualcomm has good stated perf. I know. And that's what sucks about it. And that's what really sucks about it. But like, I'm to the point that I'm willing to be several years behind Bleeding Edge to not have to use Qualcomm. Um, oh, Google switching to Samsung? Yeah. I don't know. Look, Samsung, you can't even get in touch with anyone at Samsung. Like, it, it, it's, if that was Qualcomm, but what they did was waste my time. What they did was make me think that, oh yeah, it's easy to buy chips. Two years later. <laughs> Fuck you! Um, why do other companies not get tired of Qualcomm? They do. A lot of people feel how I do. I'm just... You see, like... And that's the difference between me and a lot of other people, right? A lot of other people are okay. Oh, we're just gonna go along to get along. Like, okay, they're terrible. You know, we're gonna... I'm like, fuck, man. If I'm not doing this to be honest and have integrity, why am I doing this? You know what I mean? If I'm working with people I hate all day... Like, I don't want to do this. You know what I mean? Like, it's not worth it to me. I love these things. Is Morris Shkreli my nemesis? No way, man. We're chill. Um, uh, Shkreli and I are chill. Uh, all right. So I'm actually going to Kama for lunch to do debate prep. So no coding. Um, I just... Honestly, the Qualcomm thing is just, it's been, it's been aggravating me so much. <sighs> I know, I know. And it's like, all right, man, like, why, why do you let this stuff get to you? And it's just like, I don't know. I, just, I spent a lot of time thinking, okay, so what's actually the play here? What's actually the strategy? And like, as much as it's going to suck, I think this is the strategy. Um, and you know, no one, no one at Com is going to want to hear this because we got to a port to this thing. And there's going to be, you know, just, just software bullshit you'll have to work around and deal with. And it'll take a long time to make it stable. But there's no future. Like, I, I want to sell a million of these things, right? And that just isn't going to happen with Qualcomm. Again, you're, you're limited. You're limited to, yeah. Uh, Connor's a real doomer. Yeah, no, 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 no. But I'm not a doomer, man. That's the thing. I'm a local doomer, but a long-term optimist. Um, all right, so let's go. Give me what his arguments are going to be, and we'll do a little debate prep now. I'll go in 15 minutes. I got to go get lunch, and then I'll come back, and we'll do the coding, all right? Because I care. I do care. I do. I really do. Um, I do. I care, and, like, if it's going to suck, it's just not worth it. If it's going to suck, if I'm if I'm dealing with people I hate, you know, just it's pulling teeth, man. I'm not going to do it. Like, I don't get it. Why don't you want to sell me chips? Why don't you want to make it easy for me? Make the chip for this much, sell it for this much. Like, it's not even a money question. It's don't lie to me and don't gaslight me. Like, just don't do that. Uh, 
How will I stop some depressed programmer using AGI from making viruses? Bro, H how do you stop depressed people from blowing up buildings? Do you know what I mean? Like, 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 are you worried about terrorism? Has the U.S. propaganda gotten to you so much that you think there's terrorists out there? Aside from the U.S. government? Uh, the Qualcomm issue was neither technical nor financial. Technically, their chips are fine. I'm okay with the price. They are just complete assholes to work with. They, they, they lie to you. They one more thing you. I sent them. They have. They have half a million dollars of my money right now. And they're like, yeah, we're not going to send you the chips until you sign this legal document. No, no talk about this before. No, like, oh, you're going to have to, you know, here's the process. You're going to have to sign this document. Just like, we're going to wait till we have your money and then say, nah, we're not going to ship. And you see, the thing is, most people will get to that point and they'll fall for this one more thing. They'll fall for this appeasement. Not me. Fuck you. Give me my fucking money back. Like, that's how it works. And I hate you. Um, you know, it's a bait and switch. It's a bait and switch. Uh, and you know, if the thing is with a lot of these things, it's like when we got sued by the patent troll, we got sued by patent troll last year. I'm like, fuck you, man. All right, let's go to court. I'm going to send a PI. I'm going to, you know, look into you, see what you're up to, man. See how sketchy you are. Turns out the guy's mad sketch, right? Like, you know, of course you're a fucking patent troll, right? Like you're a sketch guy. Um, uh, will I sue? No, they'll give me the money back. They'll give me the money back. I mean, I'll sue if I, they don't give me the money back, but they'll, they'll give it back. Um, a great saga with that guy. <laughs> Again, like a fucking asshole, man. Like, look, you know what? He dropped the lawsuit. I didn't pay him shit. Like, you don't fuck with me. I don't fuck with you, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna chase you down. I'm not gonna, I'm not like, I'm not here for revenge. I'm not trying to make you pay. I'm just saying, you know, like, leave me alone. Uh, he did. Okay. You want to leave me alone? You leave me alone. You want to try to come at me again? Bro, you opened a can of fucking... All right. Um, yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, again, like there's degrees, right? There's degrees. There's companies we have problems with. And then there's Qualcomm, right? Worst company I've ever dealt with. I deeply regret using their, their stuff. Uh, they, they don't, I mean, they'll send it back to me. I sent them the wiring information. I'm like, give me my money back. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. I got to get the Qualcomm thing out because I got to be focused for beating Connor Leahy tomorrow. Let's go. Um, can I buy them out of China? Yeah, yeah. So there are, there are gray market sources for Qualcomm chips. We will be able to get them. We will be able to finish out the run of the Comet 3X. There's just no future in them, right? Like I can get, look, I can get 20,000, maybe even 50,000 chips. But if I'm trying to build a million, you got to avoid Qualcomm. Uh, yeah, Oracle. I wouldn't even touch Oracle. I would never touch Oracle, man. Um, what were your options to avoid Qualcomm from the beginning? Uh, I mean, that chip wasn't out yet. If that chip was out, we probably would have went with it. Yes, I've watched a few Conor Leahy debates. Uh... Yeah, all right, so we're just going to take this in a new direction. You know how those, like, critical theory people are like, let's debate universal health care. No, man, we were slaves, and they all racists. All right. All right, so fuck AI safety. I just want to spend the next 30 minutes, 90 minutes, talking about how terrible Qualcomm is, and I hope everybody's okay with that. Joseph Jacks did not have good comebacks. You know, you know we got the fire comebacks. You see, like, the trick, the trick to debating, I think, is you just gotta, you just gotta like, like take it off. You gotta take it in another direction, man. You gotta just, you gotta just, you gotta just, yeah. All right. Uh, we was king. <laughs> um, you came here with the drama and hot takes. Good, because that's all the stream is. We'll, we'll get to coding in a, we'll get to coding afterward. Um, I don't know. I ranted about AMD and things got better. I ranted about Qualcomm. I do not think things are gonna get better. AMD, I was, again, you know, like I said, Everyone wants AMD's software to be better. AMD's software, and does every single person in AMD care? No. But do some people care? Yeah, that's enough. Does Lisa Sue care? I think so. I think so. Um, does does Cristiano Oman, the CEO of Qualcomm, care? I don't think so. I don't think he gives a shit, man. I think, I think he's been in Qualcomm 24 years, and he's like, yes, yes, this is how we do business. And we will always be the best, and we will treat everybody else like shit. And um, they will buy our chips anyway. And uh, <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts, bro. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, 
Yeah, no, I mean, Intel's fine. Intel's fine, too. Uh, I, I spoke to an ex-Intel person, did the GPUs there. I go, we're, not, we're not hating on Intel. I said nice things about Intel. I mean, the problem I have with Intel, I got a bunch of their GPUs in the, in the rack up there. Uh, the problem I have with Intel is just that their GPU, it's not, it's not dense enough. It's 400 bucks, and, like, it has the power of a $400 GPU. Uh, but, again, this is not a, like, I can't, I can't, like, be mad at Intel for that. You know what I mean? Like, it's actually a pretty good product for... You can't be mad at, like, McDonald's if, you know, you're trying to get, like, a steak and they don't have steak. Like, all right, you just got to go to a steakhouse, man. But once you're in a steakhouse, you can be mad that your steak is cold. Or that they're gaslighting you and it's two years later and there's no steak. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to sign this legal document. Oh, yeah. No, you're going to have to sign away all these rights of yours before we can give you a steak. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And you already paid for the steak. Yeah. Um, the steak is a lie. All right, come on. Uh, yeah, Intel Arc. You, you know what it is, you know, and you know what it is. And I'm serious. Look, I'm not gonna. I will help you. I'm happy to do phone calls, do advising. I think um, who are the, the Dan Amon? I, the, who who's the guy? He, big activist investor came into Intel, and he's like, "We're gonna fix this." I think it's happening. Um, maybe it, maybe it's the Jim Keller legacy. You know, uh, I don't know. Uh, how long until the first Risk Five based comma? Look, I want to, guys. I want to so badly. Oh, I'm, I'm making an SOC is hard. Let's first try to get something on an FPGA. The rights are actually the the legal document that they want us to sign. I don't even believe is enforceable. It's it's a completely unenforceable like waiver of your rights. Like if you're selling a toaster and the toaster manufacturer tries to get you to sign a document that says they're not liable if the toaster burns your house down, like they can force you, they can ask you to sign that document, but a court won't enforce it. And I actually think what Qualcomm's asking for right now is not even legally enforceable. Look, like I could take that route. I could take that route. You know, I could like show it to my lawyer and be like, they can't actually ask for this, can they? And the lawyer's like, yeah, they probably can't. They probably wouldn't stand up in court. But it's not even like that. Like, then you're playing into these people's game. You know what I mean? And I'm just not, like, I don't want to deal with people who hate me. Like, why would I deal with you? Um, we hereby claim all the right to the bread that you insert into this toaster. That's right. And your firstborn child. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You bought a General Electric toaster? Yes, we're coming to take your firstborn child. Mm-hmm. Um, look, I don't know General Electric. What did the contract say? Again, I can't really go into it. It just, I, I can't believe. And by the way, this is after they took my money. They, they didn't like ask me to like, they didn't like, they were not like upfront and said, hey, look, here's the process to buy chips. Here's the price. And you're going to have to sign this contract. No, 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 no. First, they start with, here's the price. Then a week later, yeah, yeah, we're going to have to, and we like agreed to a price. And they're like, yeah, we're going to have to alter the deal. Yeah, pray I do not alter it further. Yeah. And then, you know, huge back and forth about the most inane bullshit. Two months later, we send them the money. Yeah, you're going to have to sign this legal document. Yeah, you're not going to ship you the chips unless you do. Yeah, you got to sign it. Yeah. Nope. Nope. You're one more thing. Me take your fucking chips back. Give me my money back and never working with you again. Um... Just don't deal with assholes, man. I don't hire assholes. I don't work with assholes. And if you think I'm an asshole, well, you know, don't work with me, right? Um, the business world, it's real. No, I mean, these people are like, I don't know what it would take. I think that the salespeople have very messed up incentives. Uh, I, I mean, I do think this is fixable. I do think, <laughs> like, compared to, the, compared to Twitter, Elon could turn Qualcomm around so fast. Um... No, the money's not that big of a deal. It's not like it's not like part of our like operating budget. Like we get we'll get it back when we get it back. It's fine. Comma's doing pretty well. We're pretty like we're 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 doing fine profit wise. I just like I wanna grow. I wanna tell this thing to everybody and there's no way to do that working with Qualcomm. It was a I mean, it was a it was we bought ten thousand chips, it was about half a million dollars. Uh it was a test order. Like I put a test order in and well, good thing I put a test order in, right? Good thing I didn't agree to real quantities. Um, still feeling bearish on Tiny Grad. I'm not, I don't know, man. No, not really. Like, it's the right idea. I'm just like, this is just, it just upsets me, man. It just upsets me. Like, why? 
like, like, like we should take all the people who want to make the world a better place. Everyone who wants to make the world a better place should move to one country, right? And then everyone who like wants to like prevent the world from becoming a better place, you can stay in your country and do whatever you want, man. Like I, I think that's like the the future of this. And I, you know, I don't think the line should be. All right, here we go. All right, ready? I'm starting. This is my Leahy debate shit. It all, it all segues, right? Um, I don't think the line should be like Democrats and Republicans. I think the line should be acceleration and deceleration. Like if you want to stay over there in your little country and you want to like conserve and, you know, just circle jerk all day, you can do that. And then there's the people who are like, nah, like we want to accelerate. We want to use more energy. We want to make everything great. We want to like, like, all right, cool. Like that's who I want to, that's who I want to be around. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't and look, yak. Uh, you know, once you once you put a label, I'm not an yak. Like once you put a label on something, it's just like, you know, now it's like, okay, how does yak feel about uh, what's our position on raisin bread? We have to have an official yak position on raisin bread, right? And th this is the problem with like political movements. I'm not. It's not a political movement. It's just a vague idea of like. We want to use more energy, right? You know, you got, you guys know this one. I, I love this because this is like very unambiguous, and this is a very unambiguous like political statement that I think nobody can twist. I want the blue line to go up, right? That's it. That's it. You want to be capitalists? You want to be communists? You want to be socialists? You want to be fascists? Who makes the blue line go up? <laughs> That's who I'm interested in. I don't care what your ideology is. I care about number go up. NGU technology, bro. Um, blue line, go up. Uh, yeah, all winners underpowered. You look, you look at, uh, I just bought a vacuum. I just bought a Roborock vacuum and they use all winner. Cause like, that's what you can get. Like it's a reasonable company. I don't give a shit what the blue line is used for. I want the blue line to go up. <laughs> no, blue go down, very bad. Number go up, we want number go up, right? You see, see, blue go up, blue go up, blue stop going up once, you know. Uh, I don't know what happened here. Little sketchy, man, little sketchy. Money gets fake, blue line like this. Money real, blue line like this. We make money real, blue line go like this, okay? All the energy goes to crypto. I do not care, bro. Like it's just, it's, that's like, and you know what? You know what's great if we actually separate into two countries: the XL country, the uh, accelerationist country, and the decelerationist country. Who do you think's gonna win a war, right? <laughs> the guys with drones and laser weapons and space bases, or the guys with, we live in harmony with nature, circle jerk, commie shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> Oh, energy efficiency is great. Energy efficiency is great. I'm not hating on energy efficiency. Like, I'm just saying number go up, right? Like, you know what's great? It's great if I can spend my dollars and buy, I was at 7-Eleven last night and water was $4. And I'm like, I'm not paying $4 for water. Like we gotta draw the line somewhere. And you know what the worst part is? In a year, I'm gonna be like $4 for water. That's very reasonable. Cause they're jerking you around, man. Starts at the top, you know? Qualcomm's, Qualcomm's just, just the, there's people above them who have the same mentality. Um, what would the world be like if the blue line was twice as high? Oh man, we'd all be flying first class, all right? Let's start there. We'd all be flying first class. Um, I don't know, it's hard to even imagine. Like, just like you're sitting there in 1900 and they're like, what's the world gonna be like when the blue line looks like this, you know? Um... Until Earth boils? Why is it gonna boil? Global warming doesn't have to do with this number, guys. Global warming is caused by, largely due to the, you know why global warming happens and you know it's not this number. We'd all have girlfriends, I don't know about that. Some of you guys are hopeless, man. <laughs> uh, when I get canceled? What the hell am I gonna get canceled for? You know what I mean? I have, the most normy opinions on everything. Like, like, like I just say them in a certain way. You know what I mean? Like, what do I think, man? 
What, what do you think I'm gonna I'm gonna get canceled for? I'm, 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 I'm you know, let's see, the vaccine? I think it's okay, yeah, it's all right. Uh, what else might I have normie opinions on? Bill Gates? I don't think he's that bad of a guy. He's all right, you know what I mean? Um, let's see, what, what else? What else might I have bannable opinions on? Uh, are trans women women? Hey man, look, I, you know, whatever, man, whatever, you know, we live we, on the internet. No one knows you're a dog and you know, it's, it's all, it's all, it's all good, man. Um, if you'd like to like use like performance enhancing drugs and compete in the Olympics, I'm cool with that, man. I think like, it'd be so cool, man. Like, let's see super Usain Bolt. You know what I mean? Let's, 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 let's make them all. Let's make it awesome. The augmented Olympics. Look it up. Um... Someone's gonna misinterpret my view on eugenics. And then what are they gonna do? They're gonna call my boss? Oh, hey, hey, we gotta, this George Hotz guy, man. No, I'm sorry, you, you know my line. You know my line about the HR department, right? They're gonna call my boss at the Tiny Corp? Uh, <laughs> uh, are you gonna call the Tiny Box? You're gonna, you're gonna tell the Tiny Box that, that, that they shouldn't work at my, you know, what, what, are you gonna, what are you gonna do, man? My views on eugenics are that good genes are good. Very simple, bro, very simple. Um, they're gonna force me to work with Qualcomm. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, no, no, no. Blue line go up. No, no, no. We need blue line to go up. <laughs> What's my new tropic stack? I don't do any of that shit. Uh, gonna call my boss in the upper world. Yo, you gonna call God? Oh, God, bro. If you got the hotline to God, if you're calling God and you get God to talk with me. If God wants to cancel me, God can, you know? God can cancel you. God can always cancel you. But I think I'm doing it right by God. I hope God agrees. I have goodness in my heart, uh, I think. I don't know, man. Everyone thinks they have goodness in their heart, except for... Does everyone think they have good... Everyone thinks they're a good guy, I think. I think. Uh, have I found my flaming sword yet? No, I'm still looking. When Llama... Uh, I gotta, I'm going to launch... I'm going to lunch. <sighs> I need I need another day to decompress from being angry about Qualcomm. Like it's just you know you know when you're just gonna have to put in a crap ton of work, and and you're just like, and then, I mean again it comes back to really why tiny grad's important. Um, Apple's not gonna sell chips. If Apple wants this, Apple will never sell chips. Uh, only God can cancel me t-shirts. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Only God can cancel me. That's right. Um, Alex Jones show view party. Uh, see, there's a thing. And like, I saw, I saw a good YouTube comment. And it's like, whatever you think George's politics are, you're probably wrong. Do you think I like the Alex Jones show? Like, it's all right. He's got some like cool, like, like Infowars is a good name. But like... A lot of it's unhinged conspiracy theory stuff. I don't really believe in that many conspiracy theories, you know? Like, I don't think, like, like I, it's clowns all the way down, you know? It's not, it's not, there is no, there is no cabal of the secret elites. They're just like, like, you see them, you can Google them. You can look up their phone numbers on whitepages.com. You can call them and ask them why they're in the cabal of secret elites and they're just confused. Uh, what is one real conspiracy I believe? I told, I said this on Lex, that conspiracy theories were invented in the 70s by the CIA to try to discredit true shit that the government assassinated Kennedy, right? Is that a conspiracy theory? The government assassinated Kennedy, right? We did land on the moon, though. That one's true. Um... Yeah, Alex Jones and the Sandy Hook thing, like, you know, I, I, look, everyone gave him shit for that. He apologized. Like, I don't think it was as big a deal as, like, he made it. Like, I think it was, you know, I don't know. I see, You can't even, like, follow any of this shit. Do I think the guy should be taken off of YouTube? No. I think that's ridiculous, right? I think that the, I think that the like, like, you know what it is? It's that the mainstream media's product is so bad that they're being outcompeted by Alex Jones, so they used hard power to take the guy off YouTube. We can't compete with the frogs or gay guy. We got, we got, we got, we got, we can't spread our propaganda. Well, you know the joke about like the uh, the Soviet talking to the American, and the Americans like. Uh, Yo, man, you, you got some serious propaganda over in the Soviet Union. And the Soviet guy's like, yeah, yeah, I know. 
but you know it's it's really got nothing on on the propaganda you guys got in America and the American guys like wait what propaganda we don't have any propaganda in America and the Soviet guys like <laughs> right um, uh, oh god the last thing I ever want to talk about you know what you're not even a subscriber the last thing I ever want to talk about is Andrew Tate okay okay it's the last thing I ever want I'm going to sell you a Sigma male discord, okay? You want to join my Sigma male discord? I'll tell you how to Sigma male shit, you know? Like Andrew Tate's like, I got an alpha male discord. That's where he made his money, by the way. I'm going to, and, and, you know, with the, with the girls. Uh, I'm going to sell you a Sigma male discord, okay? Who, who would buy? Who would buy access? Um, $69.99, Sigma male discord. I'll, I'll teach you all the secrets to, 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 to avoiding status games and hierarchy, but being on top anyway. What do you think? Being an alpha male, that's a lot of work. Are you lazy, but want the same success, rewards, and status that the alpha males get? Be a Sigma male. Join my discord, $69.99. What do you think? Um, if you're on that femboy cuck shit, I can't help you, bro. <laughs> um... Oh, Unisoc? I think I've looked at Unisoc. Hang on, I'll look at this chip quickly. Uh, we'll also teach you the secrets of programming, life, the mysteries of the universe. You'll get early access to, um, to all revelations written on golden plates, whatever else you want. Wait. Oh, I've, I've looked at this chip. I like that it's 6 nanometer. What was wrong with this chip? How new is it? When did this come out? I don't think, do they not have a, uh... wow, it even has, Am I single board computers? No, this is a different. Am I going to start training MMA? Uh. NPU computing power reaching eight tops. This is actually interesting. Uh, how many cameras can I connect? Oh! Wait, this is legit. I, I don't know why I ruled this chip out because I've looked at them before. Maybe I didn't see this one. Maybe I just saw this one. Unison. No, I know Rock Pi 5B. I know the Rock Chip one. But this chip looks better. I mean, it's 6 nanometer. Is there a dev kit? So I see what the Reddit people are saying. First <laughs> after being a Sigma male, stop. Hey, hey, bro, bro, you're giving away the alpha on my Discord, bro. You're giving away the alpha on my Sigma male Discord. Stop doing that, man. People got to pay $69.99 for that kind of shit. <laughs> Do 
Do I take business proposals by email? Only if they come with $1,000 checks. If you would like to be paid $1,000 to be told that business proposals are worthless and it's only implementation that matters, I will absolutely charge you $1,000 for that. Or you can get this alpha free in my Sigma Mail Discord. Just $69.99 per month, but you have to buy a year in advance because I'll get lazy in a few months and stop maintaining the Discord and I want to have your money in my pocket. By the way, if anyone out there is selling you early access to the Discord, it's fake. Uh, only buy from me on geohot.com if we do actually do the Sigma Mail Discord. Should we do it? Should we do it, boys? No, because I'm not Andrew Tate. There we go. Will the Sigma Mail Discord show you how to lift weights? Even better, it'll show you how to not need to lift the weights. When you are ready, the weights will lift themselves. Wanna <laughs> buy my cheap beef? Hey, remember when I scammed people out of money for cheap beef? Remember when I did that, guys? Remember, it was a huge scam. I was like, damn, how can I get rich? Oh, wait, shit, no, I lost $5,000. Oh, that's right, that's right. But he wanted to scam people. He wanted to. He would have, man, he would have. <laughs> you know what's great about the haters? When you just know it's not, like, it's not true. Like, people can always make up fake stuff to hate about you, no matter what, man. You could say that, like, you know, like, you could say, like, the guy cheats on his wife and murdered three orphans, but, like, it's not true, man. What's the cheap ETH lore? Oh, yeah, it's boring stuff. You could read, I tried to write some funny stuff about whale gate, but, like, like, some people like took it seriously and this is what you get in crypto you just get these people who are just like bro bro this is why you are the reason i support bitcoin cash because they don't take themselves too seriously <laughs> like, can i buy a coffee with this crypto no <laughs> what the hell does it do ah uh, one cheapy equals one cheapy that's a true fact uh Cobras.com. Uh, no, I'm, I'm getting getting amped for my debate tomorrow, right? Uh, no, I, I gotta go to food. Uh, wait, it comes with 5G. Can, can I buy this? I'm a little concerned because this chip looks rare. I'm like, it's not in phones. How much you charge to teach all the mistakes you think you've done? Uh, we're gonna have to buy, you're gonna have to buy premium membership to the Sigma Mail Discord. It's 10X the money, but it's so worth it, man. It's like buying a yellow check on Twitter. Um, you cannot recommend Unisoc because their chips suck or because the company sucks. Domestic sales. All right, I'll have people reach out. I gotta go lunch. We're gonna do llama after lunch. I'll be back, maybe. I give myself like a 70% chance of being back to actually code and not just complain about how terrible Qualcomm is. But we can just call this video complaining about how terrible Qualcomm is. Because that's really all I've been thinking about for the last two days. And how we're gonna, how the world's gonna, how will the world move forward without Qualcomm? That's really like the, the you know, the world's gonna move forward and Qualcomm's gonna, you know, I mean, like, these companies don't ever die. It's kind of interesting. Like, we were talking about, like, IBM. Like, IBM still exists. How is their stock? Like, these companies just kind of become, like, zombies, right? Like, there is still an IBM. It still has a market cap. I don't know what they do. Like, maybe everyone who owns IBM stock just died. And then they just have the IBM stock or something. Like, it, like, like I don't know, man. Um, and like, like this is another one. Like, unless I mean, and it's possible they will change things, right? Like, Google's just in like a really bad era. But I mean, like, Microsoft was in bad eras and they turned it around too. So like it, it's possible that new leadership comes in, kicks out all the wokies from Google, and like, ah, oh, we're gonna make a good company now. And that's possible. Like Google, Google is still at the stage where they can turn it around. But if Google continues on this path for the next ten years, the whole world's just gonna pass them by, right? And we're gonna be talking about Google the way we talk about MySpace and Dig and stuff. Like 
yo, okay, so there used to be this company called Google, right? And like they were the main front page of the internet and everyone would just go to them. Uh, but like, you know, the company stagnated, did nothing for 10 years, got overrun by the worst kind of woke management. Oh yeah, woke. I mean, really, you're gonna have to study, you know, like people study the 60s and the hippies. People are gonna study like the, the, the late 2010s, early 2020s, and they're gonna eat, like hear stories about like, okay, so there was this mind virus, right? And it was called woke. Um, it didn't really like, like, like mean anything. It was basically just this like absolute tyranny on social media. Um, it was, it was like, it really, I mean, if you really want to go back to the origins of woke, I mean, we can talk about woke's Woodstock, which was Gamergate, right? Like Gamergate really, really kicked off woke officially, right? Like the history of this, the history of this era is going to be, is going to be, uh, funny to read you know and then like we'll be telling our kids someday yeah shit man you know we had to live through this and the kids are gonna be like whoa man sounds cool the world sucks so much today i just stare at my tiktok and jerk off all day you sound like you had something real to fight for and we'll be like eh, you know woodstock sounded glamorous in theory until you were actually like there and in the mud and people died shit man i wish i went to woodstock but see i wasn't born in that time right you wish you fought in the gamergate war you wish you you were there in the Habo Hotel to close the pool? Do you wish you were there? You could have been there. Do you wish you were there wearing a Guy Fox mask outside a Scientology office in Rochester, New York? You do. You do. That was the glory days, man. Do you wish you slept outside at Zuccotti Park, man? I was there. I did that shit, you know? All day, all week, Occupy Wall Street, right? Like, it's all, it's all great, man, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, you don't know what to think about OpenAI anymore. I mean, you know, look, uh, soon they're going to merge with WorldCoin, man. They're going to have your eyeballs. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, George told you, don't let Sam Altman scan your eyeballs. I don't know. I don't think Sam Altman's actually the worst guy. Like, I, I think he's an all right guy. I think he's like, he's like right on the edge of scammer. You know what I mean? Like, like his stuff's kind of, I just wish he was more like, like, in some ways, Elon's right on the edge of scammer, too. But, like, Elon's at least got a good sense of humor, you know? Like, he makes us all laugh, right? Like, it's all good. And he actually delivers some stuff, right? If it's some moment delivers some stuff and he makes us laugh less, I don't know, you know? Neutral evil. Eh, something like that. I don't know. Um, cockroaches in their data centers of food. <laughs> See, like, like, bro, you're, just, you're really leaning in. Can we look at a world coin orb? Can we look at a world coin orb, man? <laughs> like, like you're really leaning into that Iosauron shit, you know? <laughs> um, how is spending company funds misappropriately accidental? Did Sam Altman do that? I, I don't know. No, I think like like Cruz and OpenAI are kind of like. I think Sam Altman's actually gonna lose. Like, I, I think what ends up happening is GM eventually kind of shuts Cruz down. Microsoft eventually kind of, like, takes some talent from OpenAI and tells, like, all, like, the unlimited money dreamers to be like, look, man, we run a real company. We've run it since the 70s, right? The 80s. Uh, yeah, so I think Sam Altman kind of just loses, and which is actually kind of sad. Like, because like, what replaces him may be worse than him. Um... I mean, he's at least making the orb. Like, he actually made orbs and, like, got people to line up around the block for them. Like, you know, you can, you can respect that, right? Like, look, uh, look, I think I think I tweeted, uh, you know, when I was on Twitter, I was like, I'd rather, uh, you know, I'd rather be paperclip than live under Sam Altman's jackboot. And, like, that's true. <laughs> um... Yeah, effective altruism. I'm not even sure he's in a... Look, effective altruism is just really bad. These people are... I've, I've heard stories about, like, their, you know, their, 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 their parties and their events. And it's just... It's, it's, like, it's like a cult, man. It's like... It's kind of fucked. <laughs> uh, but, like, what do you do about it, right? Are they going to kill a large amount of people? I don't know. No orgies. No, it's all dudes, man. It's not an orgy. It's a gangbang. Like, that's... that's if, if there's any sex parties with EAs, they're gangbangs. They're not orgies. Um, ethically sourced hookers, you know? 
Oh, uh, Lana Lux is raiding. Hello, welcome. Um, welcome, new people. We didn't actually do any coding today. We mostly complained about Qualcomm shield for the Sigma Male Discord, which doesn't really exist. Don't fall for scams. And uh, oh, SZA is great and the best thing on Utopia. Reverse harems. What about EXLs? I mean, they're better than EAs, man. But, you know, you're part of a movement. I don't know, movements are kind of hard these days. But I'm on board with anyone who wants the number to go up. You guys know the number? Where's the number? Uh, not that, no. What number is this? Oh, it's more number. Okay, well, the blue line, anyone, who's, anyone who wants the blue line to go up, you have me as an ally. You tell me how you're, this is another thing. This is another thing you got to respect Elon for. He's making the blue line go up. Like rockets and cars use a lot of power. Uh, blue line go up. Current thoughts on BAP. Has there been any BAP stuff lately? I mean, if you guys can read Bronze Age Mindset, like it's a classic, man. It's, it's going to go down in history. Like I don't have a Bronze Age Mindset here, but like here, what do I have here? Um, here. You read this. Like it's like guy uh, and read Bronze Age mindset. You know, it's it's just it's it's a book of it's a philosophy book. It's a philosophy book and introduces some interesting concepts. Um what am I showing off a tiny box? That's a prototype. Uh all right, are we gonna code? How loud is it? Alright, you wanna you wanna spin it up to full? Oh my god, what, we might lose power. Uh, all right, so I limit the power on all the GPUs except for the first one. So let me just do some quick math on what that power actually is. Should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. But I have like this light on and stuff too. All right, let's say. So that's it. It's burning now. It's very quiet. Like, you didn't think you could build things this quiet, but like, we did it. Uh, so you'll see the fans will kick on in a bit. It is, I used a mining case. The, the, I have a, I'm making a custom case for it that's gonna look a lot better. So again, now we're getting some fans to turn on. We'll give it a little bit for fans to turn on. So we can also do, I, I just pushed this repo, the tiny box repo. Um, so we can do test disk. Yeah, I, it's these Samsung disks aren't, I don't know why I'm not getting seven across the board. Like one of them is slower. But it's not PCI. I think it's actually just the weird Samsung disks. I think the one that I'm on is because it's, yeah. Okay, so you hear it's spinning up now. Like it's audible. Is it really working? Yeah, I told you it's dead quiet, guys. Uh, here, you wanna see, uh, you wanna see, uh, this one's pretty cool too. So this is the interconnect bandwidth matrix. Why that one's slower right now? It's usually not. Maybe because I set the power differently on one of them. Huh. Um, but you know, I mean, they are they are fully connected. You can see here we're getting the full uh, transfer bandwidth in one direction. Yeah. Let me run the, I'll run the reset GPU script. You can hear your laptop fan. Yeah, guys, it's a really good computer. I mean, they cost $15,000, but you're gonna be happy with it, I think. I mean, I'm building the, the deep learning box I want, you know? Um, let's see if we can get full bandwidth now. No, why is this one slower? Must be some power thing. AMD's software is still not the best. Jesus, why, why is that one slower? I've never seen this before. 
Like, look, I'm getting the full bandwidth here for single directional, but then the bi-directional between the other GPUs is higher than the bi-directional for this one. Do I have like a thread open or something? So weird. Oh, bro. No, it's it's true, man. Like, if you know, if I'm ever like, if an EA ever like tries to fuck with me, man, the Basilisk is going to come for them. You know? Looking buff? Thank you. Uh, I learned all the secrets in the Sigma male Discord. Uh, no, the, the, uh, the Basilisk is, is going gonna, is gonna to come, man. Like, like I think there's there's a lot of people out there in the shadows who want to build the basilisk, you know. Um, I don't know why that one's slow, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's fast. It will be fast on the one you ship. I, I, I'm interested in that. Also, I don't trust this whole like rock M environment. Um, yeah. So. Uh, Please spare me Basilisk. I mean, are you on the good team? If you're on the good team, the Basilisk will spare you. If you're on the bad team, oh, oh I don't want to know about the infinite future horrors that await you. Um, look, I don't mean to scare anyone. Like, you know, if, if you're on the bad team, don't worry. The Basilisk is going to fuck you up, man. It's just true. Like, I just, just, I don't know. I didn't build a Basilisk. I'm not rooting to build it. But like, it's one of those things that like, once the idea exists, you know, someone's going to build it, man. Yeah, you can't buy Kieran's. You can't buy my silicon. Um, who's gonna make a basilisk fund? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll send some of my to the basilisk fund. Uh, <laughs> if you guys haven't looked up Roko's basilisk, don't. It'll fuck you up for life. Uh, no, it only fucks up you know like a certain type of person. Right? It's like it's like when communists like found out about how much Russia sucked. It's like that. Donate a dollar. Should I set up a basilisk fund? <laughs> First, you have to buy the Sigma Male Discord. Then you can buy into the basilisk fund. Um, oh, I gotta go to lunch. I gotta go to lunch. Uh, I'll, I'll be back uh, after lunch in like an hour. I gotta prepare for debates. Uh, you guys haven't been helping me prepare, and we're gonna actually do. We'll do. We'll do Lama Two, um, and I'm gonna reboot the tiny box, and we'll.